Hey y'all, welcome back to the party. It's me, your girl, Britt Reacts, and today we're reacting to Don't Speak. This is a no doubt 60s style cover from Haley Reinhardt. Let's see what she has to say. You and me, we used to be together every day together all Listen, 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 listen. Do I know who No Doubt is? Absolutely. We talk about Gwen Stefani on this channel here plenty of times, right? Um, in the fifth grade, who I'm aging myself. In the fifth grade, um, I had a really good friend. She was a neighbor. Her name was Catherine, and she introduced me to No Doubt, specifically this CD where she, uh, Gwen had like the pink hair. This was the I'm a Barbie girl era of life. I'm pretty sure Gwen had pink hair then. I could be thinking of the wrong album cover, but either way, Catherine loved this song. And so in turn, I ended up loving this song. Until this day, anytime I hear the song, which is not often, just in my world and, um, you know, I don't hear it a lot. But anytime I hear it, like I lose it because it's such a good song. It's such a good song. I love, I already love what she's done. This woman has the ability to take a song and just transform it and, and own it. And it's, it's crazy to me. It is. It's crazy. Like it's, it's she's her. Ugh. Ugh. All right, I think I'm like overexcited because I'm so ready for the chorus, but also I I love what she's doing already. Oh, I didn't even realize it turned to color. I was so ready for the chorus to drop. I didn't even realize it went from black to white, to from black and white to color. She slowed it down. The tempo's a bit faster. Don't speak. I know just what you think. Like that's that. It's a bit faster. It's not a ton, but and I and I also love that it didn't have. I think Gwen's had a bit more like aggression behind it. Hers was quite soft and pretty. Observation slash question. Why do y'all think the gentleman playing the, uh, is this a xylophone here? The da -da -da -da, like stepped out and came back in. No one else did. Why did he? Maybe his instrument is the easiest to leave. I don't know. That was just such a, I was distracted by that. Let me know in the comments what, you, what your thoughts may be on that. Um, I don't know this like jukebox situation. I don't, is this a production company? Is this the, the band, the orchestra situation behind her? Like who is PMJ? Is it PMJ? I just like, they, they seem to collab a lot. Is she a part of them? I don't know. Answer my questions, please, in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> Oh! 
wait a minute. I'm sorry. I'm super distracted by this guy. Did he have another instrument the first time? Is that what it was? Did he come back and switch an instrument the first time? I just didn't realize because now he's got this some type of saxophone, which I've never seen because it's ginormous and it does a loop de loop at the top. What's that? He's distracting me from you, Haley. Don't be mad. It's not my fault. It's his fault. <laughs> blend of uh don't tell me what to do i don't how late am i how long has that been going on i'm just catching it because i've been distracted with everything else going on and i've reacted to this song and this artist and i cannot think of her name but uh don't tell me what to do and don't tell me what to say i don't think that's in the original i love this mashup it does make it feel very 60s <gasps> this is genius whoever arranged this genius <laughs> Raspy, raspy. This is a lady who really, um, I think not only vocally, but like physically, she can embody the, the era, the time frame in which she's singing really well, which just shows she studies. Like she, she studies artists throughout many genres and many er eras and times and things like that. Cause this does, she feels to be embodying like a 60s singer. Um, and obviously the vocal styling. I think now she's kind of departed from it because she's just going straight into this like R&B, like big belt. But I appreciate that about her that you can tell she she does the the homework. I just think she she is she studies and it shows it shows it shows it shows she doesn't feel like she's copying or she's trying to like you know dress up and do it I feel like she really fully jumps in and morphs into whatever is required of her both vocally and physically in her performance and I think that speaks to the type of artist that she is uh that was a fun road down memory lane, but also I really enjoyed that mashup. I really, really, really enjoyed that mashup. That was really cool and unsuspecting. Um, so that gets a 10 out of 10 for me. All right, go have the day you deserve. Peace. Hey y'all, merch is here and finally available for everyone. I have it linked everywhere you could think of underneath this video, in the description of this video, in the description of my page, in my social media description bio, so you cannot miss it. It is a really fun collection. It is a have the day you deserve collection and you can mix and match different prints and logos onto crew necks, t-shirts, hoodies, and all kinds of fun things. So make sure you click the links and check that out and have the day you deserve.